Good morning, family. Welcome back to the channel, All Things Peggy. I want to thank you guys for being loyal subscribers. Thank God that the channel is growing. It's a slow grow, but it's growing. So anyway, um, Don and I are getting ready to go to the movie theater. Now, we went last week to see his movie, which was Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. <clears throat> and today we're going to see Respect with Jennifer Hudson. Now, I have been binging on Aretha Franklin since she passed. It's sad that I had to wait till she passed to find out how interesting of a lady she was. And so Hulu had an eight-part special on Aretha Franklin. I watched that. I fell in love. And so when I saw the previews to this movie with Marlon Wayans playing the husband of Aretha Franklin, who's being played by Jennifer Hudson, and I've been watching all the background videos and all the works. It looks like it's going to be amazing. Donald's just going to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to go to the 11.45 a.m. show. I got like, what, three minutes before we have to leave out? Yes. But I just wanted to show you guys. I'm sticking to my budget, believe it or not. I told you I was giving myself $7 a day, right? The last time I told you that there was eight days, I hit $56 to spend on me. Y'all, I know it sounds crazy, but I, this, the girl is on a mission, honey. I, I got to get my fifth wheel. Okay, I'm not going to mention no more in this video. Anyway, look. So I got my, uh, I want to call them Uggs so bad because, you know, I wear Uggs in the wintertime. That's my favorite shoe because it keeps the feet warm and it's feel good. But baby, I got my Crocs. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description. These Crocs were only $33 from Amazon. When I went to the store, they were wanting $50 and $60 for it. I'm not paying that. I love Crocs. Like, I got Croc sandals, and I get the same sandal. Like, I, I only have to replace it, though, like, what, every three years? But I buy the same exact brown Croc sandal. But anyway, these are just the regular Croc shoes. I wanted them when Cameron and Jordan were here because they wore Crocs and they were like, it feels like you don't have on anything, Grandma. And so I tried Cameron's on, which were a little too little for me. So, but I could feel the cushion in the shoe. So it's a good shoe, especially if, you know, older and you have, you can't stand long periods of time. These shoes are good. So anyway. I said all that to say, my shoes have arrived. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to show you my shoes. So Donald, come and record me as I open this box. All right, so this is the bag they came in. And dun, 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 my Crocs, my Crocs. Now, I wore eight and a half, sometimes a nine. So I bought these. This is a man's seven, which is a woman's nine, right? I didn't want to get those rainbow ones that Jordan had because they were just too colorful. But let's put it on and see. This is a man's seven. Yay. What? Yes, they feel amazing. I hope my feet ain't ashy. <laughs> now... You know what Pop said, you can't stop right there. You got to get the mushroom belt, <laughs> the mushroom hat, the mushroom, you know, you got to have all that. So I ordered some little croc pieces, right? <laughs> That's a P for Peggy. A. All this gaudy material that you put on your croc. Look at the chains, y'all. Look at the chains. OMG, look at the chains. And look, I mean, all these little girly things you can put on your shoe. So let's try it and see what it looks like right before we leave. We got time, Don? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, it seems like we're always videotaping in the car. Next week is going to be a busy week for us. We have to turn in the RV for some work. We might have to stay in a hotel next week. And we'll be moving on to Texas. Yeah. Are you excited about Texas? I am excited about Texas. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Get a chance to look around for the first time. I've driven through it plenty of times. 
Have well, you? Several times. We have to go from Arizona to South Carolina. Uh, drove through Texas. That was BP before Peggy. That was BP. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey. We here. Not that many people here. The, um, it's probably about 12 cars in the park. Yeah, let me see. See? Alright, guys. We are in the Okay, I will say that this place is aesthetically nicer, but the other place was financially better. <laughs> and right now, since we're on a mission to save money, I would have rather gone back to the other place. But anyway, it's really nice in here. It's maybe two, four, six, eight. It's about 12 people in here. So I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see. I hope that wasn't too sure, fast. Sure. But anyway, we will see you guys when we're outside. Alexa, They're just playing commercials right now, sure. so I don't think we'll be copyrighted. What do you think, young lad? Good. I can't stand him. Look at him. I can't reach over and punch him. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, fam. So, we have not seen you guys since. <clears throat> excuse me, Saturday um, when when we went to see Aretha. Yep. Well, respect. Respect. It was Jennifer Hudson, you know, with um, her portrayal of Aretha Franklin. I wish I had not seen that eight-part special on Hulu about Aretha because that one was so detailed yeah. and it explained every question I had, even though it was unauthorized. <laughs> I just felt like it made me understand her a little bit better. Now, this movie was good. Don't get me wrong. Like Jennifer Hudson, baby, that girl got vocals. <clears throat> she can really sing. But it was a good movie. I'm not going to... It was a good movie. Like, I am so impressed with Aretha Franklin right now. Like, I did not know that she did all that she did. So... The Hulu special, I can't remember what they called it, but it's not on Hulu anymore. So if you have like Prime, Amazon Prime, you could buy it, but who wants to buy it? I'll wait for it to come on Netflix or something. So. It's his driving for me. What? That was good driving. What, what happened there? Mm -mm. You don't get all up on somebody when you know they're having trouble. Two car lanes, y'all, or truck lanes. No. That's that's the rule. Use a baby lens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, like I say, to me, because they addressed more issues. So. But it was still a great, great movie. Now, see, I didn't see the Hulu one. Uh, Peggy, what well, was like an eight-part special or it something? It was, like and I binge-watched it. Each part was like <laughs> an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It was well, good. But it got to get more detail if it's like a 12-hour <laughs> movie or something no, like that. No, but I'm just saying they didn't touch on subjects that people want to know. Oh. Like they never showed her as a very young child being pregnant. Like they didn't address yeah. that. They didn't address... Her father, the mm. way he, her upbringing was, how it yeah. molded her into the person she was. And it just didn't really delve into it like I wanted it to, but it was amazing. It was, I didn't hate it. You know what I'm saying? I went yeah. in there with, with uh, I ain't gonna say with negativity. I did not have high expectations. That's all it was. I, I was in there like falling asleep, leaning back. They had comfortable chairs in there, real okay, wide. Now, okay, <laughs> so Oklahoma City, I'm going to tell you this. Now, you have two movie theaters in this area, Midwest City area. Mm -hmm. The one we went to the first time 
what was the name? I can't remember. Uh, the it was name an AMC one. theater. It was an AMC but theater. It's a very old AMC it theater. It is very old, but it was still in good condition. Okay. And their uh, concession stand was 25% cheaper than this newer <laughs> place. Now, this newer place is grand. Woo! It's like a ballroom. They had uh, chandeliers and lights and all that. Nice, and I mean the seats were extremely. The seats nice. were wide, comfortable, armrest, heated, lean back electronically. Yeah, yeah. The, okay. The, the screen was large and curved. They yeah. had Dolby 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound. If you're gonna watch a movie like Aretha Franklin, you need that surround sound. I love this theater. So. It was really good, though. Like I say, it was, but okay, so the prices were way higher. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the popcorn was being freshly popped. That's why I ran over to get me a little scoop because I don't like it when it's just sitting there. Because I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was a good movie. It was a good, but you know, like she said, everything was way more expensive. Like Peg, Peg got a kids meal from the first one. Uh, first movie theater and it was enough for her to be done with the movie. They gave her like a M&M sized bag full of popcorn. I, I was like, what? That's a kid's meal? Here you go, 12 popcorns. That was, it was, it was terrible. It was terrible. So I, I got up and bought her another real, a real adult bag of popcorn. The pig and these are popcorn. Don't say that. But anyway, y'all, it was a good movie. So if you are a fan of Aretha's music, it, it's just amazing how she, like, they saw how she put things together. Yeah. You know, how she brought her whatever she was. It's, it's just like seeing an artist at work, like, they showed you how she brought her songs together and stuff like yeah. that. I thought that was amazing. Yeah. But anyway, today I'm just going to do a little crafting today. I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on. It's nothing major, but. Like, I cannot find my crochet needles. I've been looking and looking because I bought a new pack when we got here. So, we're out early this morning, and guess what, ladies? Don was getting him Burger King. <laughs> and I ordered her. And he, he <laughs> asked me because y'all got on him. Oh, I think we passed her. She was walking back there. Oh. What's she? Where, here she what? go. Here. She you go. can't back up in the oh. drive through, honey. Oh, you cannot. See what I mean about his driving? That's why I don't like talking to Donald. Uh-uh. That's why I don't like talking to Donald when we're driving because he, he don't pay attention to the road. I'll be... <laughs> I'm going I'm to punch him right in his nose if he don't start paying attention. Now, how you going to back up in the drive, too? Like I said, I need y'all to get on Peggy because uh, she's always getting on my driving. Wait. Is that my car you just used? Yes. Why you didn't use yours? I don't know. I got the wrong card. <laughs> you gonna get it together, player? Here you go, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Thank you too. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna." He said, "I'm gonna teach you a lesson, and you gonna pay for my breakfast, <laughs> and you gonna pay for my breakfast." How you have my card anyway? You never took it back, kept trying to give it to you. You can't say, no, nah, hold on to it, hold on to it. He trying to spend my little allowance. He know I don't get that much. <laughs> oh, honey. This coffee is dark, dark, dark. You know that cream ain't sweet, right? I know, but I just needed to knock off the bitterness. Oh. Y'all, I've been doing really good with my coffee. I've been putting no sugar in. I need to just go back to drinking black coffee. Be careful, don't, I don't want you to know yourself. Thank you, baby. Y'all, let me tell you something. Okay. When I did the budget and I explained to y'all that you need to have money to the side because things happen, well, Donald called Monday to confirm our appointment for Wednesday, right? And that's when the hammer dropped. So 
the guy explained to Donald, he was like, uh, yeah, it won't be a one day thing because we got to get your warranty approved and everything else. And he was like, and once that's approved, then we'll take a look at it. But we can't take a look at it if we don't have it. So you're going to have to leave your RV here for 10 to 15 days. 10 to 15 days for a stabilizer jack. Something that could be just looked at and fixed. I Probably think. could be fixed, fixed in an hour. And then they were like, they weren't going to be able to fix it in the 15 day time frame either because they'll be waiting on parts and stuff like that. So basically they would hold our RV for at least 30 days. Yeah, we got places to go. And we can't it's stay. not even that. It's just like who can afford that if you don't have sticks and bricks is what I'm saying. Like we're full timers. So think about it. 30 days in a hotel. It's not going to happen. So to me, we're going to have a guy come out and look at it. This is a guy that was recommended by the camp host. Mm -hmm. He comes on post. He fix RVs for people. He does whatever. So he's coming today at 330. Now, he's going to charge us $150 for the first hour? Yes. But as long as he can fix it within the first hour, he won't charge us anything for the repair. So yeah. it's just, he just has that flat rate of 150 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. That'll be cheaper than staying in a hotel. Yeah. So, you got to be out. When you're in these RV streets, you got to be creative, honey. So the people next to us moved in and they have the cutest fifth wheel. I'm going to be her friend because I'm going to get inside that RV <laughs> and I'm going to see it. Yes, I am. I'm getting inside that RV today. <laughs> it's funny though because people don't mind showing you their RVs. They do not. Like we had a guy walk around our RV like four or five times and <laughs> and then he finally approached Donald and he was just like, I have this older fifth wheel and I'm trying to upgrade but I want to do a travel trail instead of a fifth wheel since so it's just me and my wife. And Donald was like, come on in. <laughs> people will do that. Like when we first started, people were letting us in. Come in, please look. Look around. That's how I'll be in my fifth wheel. I promise you, our second night of RVM, somebody parked across the street from us, uh, in a spot across from us, and had a grand design solitude. Oh. And, and we walk around, I just say, hey, how you doing? And she was like, hey, how you doing? Come on over. What y'all doing? How y'all doing? What y'all up to? You want to come in? And Peggy, I was like, baby, you want to come inside? And Peggy was like, yep. <laughs> we walk over there. And she show us around her fifth wheel and stuff. Like, wow. It was so quick and easy. Just just friendly people and stuff. It was, it was, it was beautiful, too. At the time, I thought that's the one we need to get. I still kind of like it. The Grand Design Solitude? Yeah, but there's a lot of Grand Design Solitude. The three. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He ain't finna change. He's not finna change horses in the middle of the race. No, sir. We sticking to what. See, that's what I'm saying. He's been trying to pull over on me because he probably could get it. Don't do it, player. Don't do it, player. <laughs> Don't even try. I know better See than that. See how he trying to do me. I know better than that. I am not gonna be dumb with this purchase. It's not dumb. It's just. I, I worry because Donald is so uh, frugal is the word I like to use when I describe Don Juan. Badge of honor. That's your badge of honor? No, but I'm serious. I'm just like, I got to get what I want or we going, we going house shopping <laughs> starting October 1st. If I don't get the, like the floor plan that I want, a lot of fifth wheel uh, makers use it. It's the yeah. same. I just want the sunken kitchen. However it goes, whatever's in the middle, be it the kitchen or the living room, I want it to be sunken. To me, it may, it gives a feel of separation and home. It gives you homey vibes. Hmm. What do you think? Um, I have a lot of things I'm looking for. I want ease of setup, ease of connection. Those six-point hydraulic stabilizer jacks, love it. Automatic leveling system, love it. Also like having the, the the tanks easy to drain on the little spot side, all weather. And I want a bigger bedroom. That's the big deal. I need a we need a bigger bedroom. Like I said, that queen short, 
I don't even, I, I just want a full size bedroom with some walk around space and more storage. We don't have any storage. I thought we had good storage when we started out. It's, I did too. It's like weekend storage. We got, mm -hmm. we got weekend storage. We don't have uh, full time storage. We have one box. Well, that's okay. We're going to remedy it with mm -hmm. getting a bigger RV. Yep. To me, the fifth wheel will be a little less work on Donald with the connection and stuff like that. Now, he's still going to have to get down there and do the holes. No matter what you buy, you still don't have those holes that you got to hook up and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you got to hook the hoses up, but you ain't got to keep going messing with them, adjusting them when you got a fifth wheel. The the pulls are inside the actual storage compartments and stuff, so it's just, you can stand up and pull those. I got to show y'all a video. Matter of fact, after we shoot this video, I'm going to make a little short video about what it takes for me to drain those tanks. I, had a, I showed Peggy the other day, I was explaining it to her, I said, when you ask me to drain the kitchen tank, I have to do a one-arm push-up in order to do it. So I'm going to show y'all, this old man is down there doing one-arm push-ups to drain those tanks. And that's why we need to change. <laughs> I'm looking because this lady is walking up to the car. I guess somebody here to pull over for their order. <laughs> Peggy is fully aware of her surroundings. I'm also aware. Better be. Anyway, no, when Donald showed me that right, I was like, look at this man. He's just trying to show me. No. <laughs> he, still, he still got guns. He down there pushing up. I'm like, you got to do all that to drain the tank. I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> see, right now y'all thinking, okay, he's just making that up. I'm going to show y'all our slide. Our, that tank for the kitchen is under the slide that's pulled out. So we don't bring that slide in. I have to do a one-arm push-up under the slide because it's only like 18 inches or 24 inches of clearance right there. 20 inches of clearance between the slide and the ground. I can't crawl. My knees ain't that good. All I got is all I got is my guns. Ooh, sexy. All, that's all I can do. <laughs> I had to stop drinking my coffee for a minute. When he pull out them guns, <laughs> bam. Mm. That's why I wear short sleeve shirts. Cause I got the right to bear arms. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been holding that one? How long you been holding that joke? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. You know what? <laughs> Donald's dad is a joke teller. He'll tell a story and you get all the way down. You all in and you like, oh, what, what, what? <laughs> and then when he the says stuff like, when he says the punchline, I'm like, oh, I could just bite your ear. Off. <laughs> I could just bite your ear. I could, I could just bite it. I'm Ooh. telling you. I'm like, why would you make me sick for all the time? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he laughs more than the people. He's cracking up. Boy. Oh my goodness! But we, when me and my brother was growing up, we was growing up. All the kids in the neighborhood would love to hear my dad tell stories and stuff like that. The school start for these children. Why she ain't at school? <laughs> I'm gonna ask her. She gonna say, "Mind your business, lady." She might be a soldier. She looks so young. Anyway, we'll, I will see you guys inside Hobby Lobby. We have talked your ears off. Y'all not about to worry me, okay? Tell me why. Tell me. Christmas all ready. This is ridiculous. Not really, but it is. OMG. Y'all, my heart hurts. Cause I wanna do this so bad. Cannot believe it. Now they do have Thanksgiving stuff out. Now, I like this sign right here. I like that. That is super cute. They have some really nice things in here for Halloween or fall. I walked past most of it already. But yeah.
Why you ain't let me buy nothing? <laughs> I ain't even going there with you. I know. Ooh. But I could hear it in my head right now. Because <laughs> he used to entertain my foolishness. Hmm. And he would let me buy my Christmas stuff in August when they first put it out. Because you know when they had that good, good stuff, it goes fast. And so I convinced him, I'm like, don't please. Please, I won't ask for nothing else. And he was like, you going to ask for something else, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> that just kills me that you say I'm not going to ask for anything else. I won't ask you for anything else. Why do you even use that on me? Today. <laughs> so I had to learn. I won't ask you nothing else today. But anyway, y'all, I don't know how Christmas is going to be on the road, but I just want to go home and decorate and then come back. Hello guys, so Donald and I have made it home. What you doing over there, honey bunny? He's playing chess as always. Anyway, I want to show you guys what I got from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to have to stay tuned because I was going to show you the completed project, but I'm waiting on a PDF file. So anyway, let me show you what I have. All right guys, so I had to buy some new crochet needles. These are not the best, but they'll work for what I'm trying to do for right now. Just to give me something to do. And then I got all of my yarn. And so I cannot share with you guys exactly. I can't show you like I know I've been promising a crochet along and stuff like that, but I can't because this is a paid pattern. But I think you guys are going to enjoy. In fact, I think you may even love what I am about to make here. So. Oh, and wasn't that a good deal? I don't even need these buttons. But for 94 cents, I'll find something. Maybe when I'm making my doll clothes or something. But this is all the stuff I had to buy today. I have all of this stuff at home in my crochet bin. Just couldn't bring it with me, so I'll have two sets of some things. But anyway, stay tuned. I should be able to show it to you, hopefully by morning, but for sure by weekend. So thank you for, I know we look weird, like I'm trying to hold it up so I can get both of us in here. But anyway, thank you guys for going along with us. It wasn't really much, but I just wanted to touch base and say hello my family members thank you guys for joining us and we will see you in the next video take it easy fam all right